moving on to Terrence Crawford, who who do you think realistically would be his first fight back? I know Kell Brook was discussed, but you, you just mentioned that could be a, a problem with him, with Terrence either having to go to the England or, or vice versa. But who do you think? Well, that, that's a, yeah, I mean, that's a good fight with Crawford and Brook. But problem bringing Brook over here or Crawford going to the U.K., which is experiencing a big... Uh, 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 spike uh, in uh, uh, coronavirus uh, uh, cases. Uh, we'll have to, you know, see what happens there. Prime Minister but, even uh, got it. I mean, <laughs> but, but but there are a number of fighters that Crawford can fight once we're up and running. I mean, PBC has a couple of guys like Thurman and uh, uh, Porter who are good possibilities. Uh, a, a fight against Manny Pacquiao with Crawford is not out of the question, although the question is where would you do it? Can you bring in a fighter from the Philippines to the United States? Well, you can't now, but maybe in a few months you can. I mean, all of these situations are so novel, we've just never faced them before. Well, Bob... Uh... So to, yeah. Just because you mentioned the Pacquiao Crawford fight, uh, is it is it true at all that following the postal fight with Crawford that Manny kind of let people, uh, you know, matchmakers, people like that at top rank know he wasn't really keen on fighting Crawford after watching that postal fight? Is that true? We don't know. We don't know if it was Manny or his advisors, or so-called advisors, but that was true for a time. But recently, we've been told uh, by advisors of his uh, that he's very much open to a Crawford fight. Hmm. Well, don't you got to wonder, in the four years since, Crawford's right in his prime and, and Manny looked good, but he's only gotten four years older. Do, do you, what kind of chance would you give Pacquiao at this stage of his career? I know he just beat Keith Thurman, but... Well, again... Again, I don't think there's a welterweight, including Spence, that beats Crawford. We'll have to see. But, you know, Manny has uh, uh, accepted challenges in his career where people said that he didn't have a chance, like in the De La Hoya fight. Mm -hmm. And he not only showed that he had a chance, but he dominated De La Hoya. This is... This is a young prime guy, though, Bob, as you very well know. <laughs> well, we don't know. Again, again, Manny Pacquiao is a different kind of athlete. Right. Now, uh, again, uh, Pacquiao sees things in himself that other people don't see. So we'll have to, you know, we'll have to see what develops because then the question is, where do you do the fight? Right. I mean, if you have trouble getting fighters from abroad plus cornermen plus all the people he brings with him into the United States and you can't do it in the United States and certainly you wouldn't do it in the Philippines so then the question is is there a Mideast country that had put up money for the fight but right now these Mideast countries are all on lockdown uh, themselves I mean Mecca is closed uh before Ramadan, you know, which is very unusual, not very, which is in, unprecedented. Mm. Uh, so, again, it's very, very hard to make concrete plans now. Uh, well, you know, one fight that was discussed on the, you know, obviously online for a moment was maybe Terrence fighting Sean Porter, but then the two of them kind of seem to agree they don't want that fight. Do you do you would you do you think that's not in Terence's best interest when you got a whole division not really willing to fight you? Do, do you kind of, beggars can't be choosers kind of thing? Do you think he should he should be I willing to take that, a point fight? I think that you're looking at the old the old mantra. I don't think that I mean Thurman just made a statement how he would be looking forward to a Crawford fight. Uh, I you know. I think a lot of things that were said before uh, are not applicable now. I know Spence wants to fight Crawford, uh, according to what he says, but probably wants an interim fight 
because he's been inactive for so long and had this terrible injury. Uh, so I think everything will shake out. And, you know, coming off the uh, Fury Wilder second fight, where PBC and Top Rank work so well together that a lot of these fights that were impossible before uh, will be very makeable now. Uh, well, it, it seemed like because there was plenty of money to go around with Wilder and Fury, it really was a huge fight that it, it made sense for everyone to come together. But is Crawford and Spence really a big fight yet? I mean, you did Trinidad, De La Hoya, another big welterweight fight. Is this fight, I don't, I'm not sure, is this fight really big enough um, to make it all happen yet, Bob? Do you feel it is, Crawford and Spence? Well, you know, I look at all of these promotions as a pie. Now, sometimes the pie is enormous. Sometimes it's just big. Sometimes it's mediocre, but it's still a pie. And it's a question, if you want to do the event, how you cut up the pie. It's not rocket science. <laughs> In other words, it, you know, if a year ago there would be Forty million dollars in a in a Crawford Spence fight, and today if there's only twenty million. It's still more than each of them would get fighting other people. But uh, and I think they're as athletes. Athletes want if they're really world class athletes, they want to test themselves against the best. They don't want to waste time fighting, playing against guys who are not the best. I mean, Alabama could book a schedule where they, you know, play second-tier teams. But instead, they look to test themselves against the best opponents in college football. They play the, guy, the teams in the Southeastern Conference, then they book some other teams from out of conference, and then if they're successful, they go into the playoffs and they test themselves against the best. I think athletes and teams want to do that. And uh, I really believe uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, boxes are no different. They want to test themselves against the best. Absolutely, um, but you, absolutely, Bob. And you, but you mentioned playoffs, um, and it takes me back to when you built up De La Hoya Trinidad. You had Oscar fight Ike Quarte first. Uh, is that the kind of playoff game, the kind of fight that that maybe uh, uh, Terence would need, or one, or Spence would need to really get this fight to its potential? Maybe one of them beat Thurman, or. Pacquiao or something like well, that, Bob? the problem is we've lost so much time now right. with this coronavirus thing that we can't uh, stage these matches in the same way we did before. Hmm. We, you know, uh, to, to match them against other top opponents and then finally have them fight each other. I mean... I mean that's okay, but uh, but you're on a short, really, uh, really schedule uh, before people lose interest. Uh, I think um, is it possible the sport just got too used to this thing, uh, moving so slowly to make big fights? Is that? No, we all had we all had the the time. We all had so many dates to fill. We all had. Uh, we all were busy uh, putting on events uh, twice a month, sometimes three times a month. And so that kept us occupied. But now that when we've had this enforced idleness, I think all of us have rethought the situation. And now we're going to want to come with as big a fights as possible by the end of the year to regenerate interest in the sport, just like every other sport will be doing. Baseball will have lost uh, most of the season, but they're going to find a way to reach the World Series. Uh, football may have a truncated 
uh, schedule the NFL, but they're going to find a way to either extend the season or get it done. We're all in a situation where we have to be very clever and we have to think this out and we have to present our best foot forward to the public if we're going to compete in this environment where everybody is going to be in a rush to get back to normal. So, so in that sense, is the pandemic good? It may cause a sense of urgency for, for the fighters. The pandemic is never good. Well, it it, it, right, it and that's, right, right. We, we, yeah. I mean, to say it's good, you bite your tongue. Absolutely. With all the people that died. I guess um, in that sense, can something positive be pulled from an awful situation in terms of for the sport? Maybe it brings the urgency to make fights happen that much more. Well, it's, it's like if you have, if you have an earthquake uh, and, you, and, and, and you have to make adjustments to how you're going to react and what you're going to do, and that's what you're doing. And this is an adjustment that we have to make uh, because of circumstances largely beyond, completely beyond our control.